Hey, and welcome back to another home automation quickie. Today, I just wanted to go over an automation that actually helped me out a lot last night and inspired me to make this video this morning uh, so that I can share this uh, use case and this functionality with you guys who, who might not be using it right now. Um, in one of my previous videos, we talked about scenes and uh, scenes are basically a collection of actions that put your house in a certain mode or in a certain state um, before an activity. So you might have a scene um, a w watching movies scene or watching TV scene where you say to your Google Home or to your Alexa or to some kind of other smart remote, you say, hey, um, in my example, hey Google, I want to watch a movie and it'll automatically turn off any media that's playing in your living room at the time, it'll dim the lights, it'll turn on Plex, yada yada yada, start a popcorn machine maybe. Um, Another scene that, uh, that I use in, in the example today is a bedtime scene where in my instance I say, hey Google, bedtime, and uh, it'll pause the Sonos media players in my house, it'll turn off my cabinet lighting and turn all the rest of the lighting in my house off and kind of get me ready for bedtime. So scenes are, scenes are pretty basic, a lot of people use them, they're even kind of integrated into the Google Assistant. But with Node-RED we can take it a step further and uh, that's what I'm doing here. So recently, uh, attached to my scenes, I've started to also attach certain checks that would be useful to do at that time. So in, in my example here, I've got my uh, scene bedtime MQTT trigger. So that's coming from Google Assistant via IFTTT or, or whatever. A lot of different things can actually trigger this scene. It then, this isn't a basic function node, it's just passing the message on just so I can you know, uh, pass the message to these nodes without having them all come off the MQTT. So this is basically just a message forwarder uh, to all the actions that I, I listed before. It'll pause the Sonoses, it'll turn off the cabinet lights, and then it'll turn the remaining lights in the house off. And for a long time, that was all that my bedroom scene does, what did was, was these, uh, these activities here. But since I've added a garage door sensor, and uh, I'm pretty prone to leaving the garage door open overnight, um, I've also had the scene trigger a final check where it'll look at the garage door state, detect whether the garage is open or closed based on what Home Assistant, the last update Home Assistant got, and then it'll actually notify me over my Google Home to say, hey, the kitchen, or sorry, hey, the garage door is open. And that actually uh, happened last night where I, I told my phone, hey, Google, it's bedtime, and I tucked in to go to sleep, and then the, uh, the, Google Home told me, hey, the garage door is open, and I was able to go downstairs, hit the button, and, uh, and close it up. So the way that works is uh, the notification just goes into the Home Assistant Google Say service, which uh, produces the Google Assistant voice, and then plays the file over any entity ID that you list here. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Google Home, I believe. I think it uh, can be almost any speaker that Home Assistant has access to or any media player that Home Assistant has access to. And that's just one way of, of notifying me and that works for my use case. But you know, this could easily be a push bullet message or a Firebase cloud messaging push message to your phone or it could be even performing the activity of closing the garage door first or attempting to close the garage door first and then if that fails then notifying me which might be an even smarter way to, uh, to automate this. So this is more of a more of just an example uh, of a concept that you could use to augment your existing scenes functionality to make your home just that much smarter. And uh, and yeah, it's it's like I said, it's helped me a lot, and hopefully, it can help you guys too. Anyway, uh, it looks like I am actually on time for this uh, home automation quickie. It's not too long, so thanks very much for tuning in, and I'll see you later.